Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of L-Star Live. I'm here with uh, L-Star Chair Kathy Amos, and we're here to talk about something I think that's uh, current and uh, sort of pertinent to the upcoming Thanksgiving holiday. And this is, uh, we want to talk a little bit about L-Star and L-Star's giving back to the community. The first one I wanted to mention was the slow pitch tournament that happened back in June. A number of L-Star members got together to uh, play some slow pitch, but also to raise money for a great charity. And brought, uh, just over $12,000 was raised for Arcade Street Mission and the Hospice of Elgin. And then we moved on to our golf tournament. Kathy, yeah. what happened there? So a lot happened there. Uh, so the golf tournament was September 19th this year, and uh, we raised just over $61,000 that went to Indwell. So uh, yeah, that was a great event and pretty successful. Very well done, very well done. Something else that realtors do, and this is an ongoing uh, month by month uh, uh, collection that we do. We, we do contribute uh, $2 per member per month uh, to the Realtors Care Foundation in Ontario. Uh, and what we do there is w once a year we we collect and there is a, a bit of interest that added that is added to that amount by the Realtors Care Foundation and then we we choose a number of charities this year we chose 10 charities and donated a total of just under $70,000 69,773 so that went to 10 very worthwhile charities within within this this the region uh, and also, we've got a couple of things coming up to raise a little bit more money, Kathy. Yeah, so the gala is uh, November uh, 22nd, so I believe there's still a few tickets left for that if you don't have one. Um, that's an annual event that funds raised uh, this year are going to go to Welkin Child and Youth Mental Wellness um, and also Humana Community Services and then the Women's Resource Centre. So three very worthy charities got uh, some of the funding from the gala. Um, also, the Children's Christmas Party, which is November 30th, uh, I think, I'm not sure the sign-up's out for that yet, but it should be out soon. Um, that's always a really good event, and the charity for that is Investing in Children and uh, Marymount. So again, two worthwhile charities for that as well. Yeah, make sure you sign up for those when you can. Those are both great events. We also do participate in a couple of other um, events that, that really do help out in the community. The Business Cares Food Drive, I think everybody's familiar with that uh, with that activity that's going to happen November 30th December 1st and I know uh, Jennifer will be reaching out to all of our members to see if we can get some more uh, volunteers to help uh, man those uh, the, those stores the very various grocery stores around the city and also the Christmas kettles the Salvation Army Christmas kettles that happens on December 5th and we will be looking for uh, members to help us uh, with those so uh, watch for the volunteer opportunities for that. Yeah, and that's a fun day for us because we go visit the members <laughs> and usually yes. a semi-ridiculous ensemble of some sort. So, uh, um, And then we also have, just a reminder, our Board of Directors election uh, is coming up. We've got 14 candidates for that. There's a couple of opportunities to see the candidates speak, uh, the first of which is October 16th at uh, the L-Star office, and I believe you can do that virtually as well. That will be a hybrid meeting, yes. Yeah, and then there's another one on Wednesday, October, uh, or no, it's not, not Wednesday. It's October, th oh yes, because it is Wednesday. Yep. October 30th, um, and that's in St. Thomas at the uh, Public Arts Center in St. Thomas, and that one's just in person. In person only for that one, but yeah. uh, also uh, there will be an election meeting. It takes place on Monday, November 4th. Uh, 2 to 3.30 at the L-Star office. You need to sign up for that one as well. And then finally, there will be online voting uh, between Friday, October 25th and Friday, November 1st. So a full week where you can and vote online. Uh, if you're not able to vote online or if you happen to miss those dates, you do have the opportunity to come to the office on November 4th to cast your ballot in person. And if you can also get a proxy to, there is proxy. to vote in person for you on uh, November 4th. The election meeting. Yes, so we hope to see either all of you out at the election meeting. It'd be great to see you there at one of the candidate forums as well. And certainly, if you can't attend any of those in person, make sure you do vote online because it's really important you cast your ballot in this election. Great. Thanks, everybody, yep. for joining us and have a great day. Have a happy Thanksgiving.